right here we are um, with the fixture remounted in the chuck and indicated in so that it's running true to this diameter which is the way I, I set it up to begin with so everything should be running the same I touched off the Z on the face of the part here and now we're going to in this program we're going to um, we rotate it around here we're going to recut we're going to reface this surface a little bit and and do the logo and we're going to also do the um through here the hardy hole and the pritchell hole in the anvil here and we're going to um i set a little um sort of i don't know what you call it a task for myself or, or a, a to see if i could do this broaching operation in the cam software now the cam software really doesn't like to do it it's um it's kind of a strange operation where you're not rotating the tool but you got to call it a milling tool and then on the machine here i could define it as a lathe tool and normally i do this by um, just running a sub program which i've shown in the past on other videos but i kind of set a task for myself to uh, see if i could make the cam software produce this this cycle and I think I've got it working. We're gonna see when I, when I, I'm gonna test it out in front of the part to see if it works all right. And if it looks okay, then I'm gonna run it in the part when it comes to that part of the program. So that's kind of different for this uh, particular part here on the larger anvil and the little smaller ones, I, I used a sub program and I just positioned the tool and then I ran the sub program and, and uh, changed tools on this machine of course looking here this isn't the tool in the spindle but you can you can clamp the tool on this machine because it it uses lathe tools and turning tools and uh, and it can uh, clamp them in different orientations every every 15 degrees it can orient the spindle and clamp it solid so it's not moving and this makes it kind of ideal to do this kind of operation of this broaching cycle or shaping cycle whatever you want to call it in this machine so in this video that's what we're going to do we're going to kind of reskim this face and recut these radiuses like i talked about in the previous video and uh and do the the hardy hole and, and the um logo on this face and the pritchell hole of course so the first tools are just some drills and roughing out this uh square hardy hole and then to come to that shaping tool which I'm gonna have to set the fixture offset out just for that and run it just to see because even though the graphics on the um, cam software look good I'm not a hundred percent trusting it yet
That finishes the machining operations. Let me uh, let me rotate this thing around so you can see. I don't know if you can see this very well with the. You might not be able to see it too well with the vid, uh, GoPro camera. I'll take a close-up picture with the phone, iPhone. I noticed this didn't clean up over here either. I have to skim that off a little bit, but the the hardy hole came out pretty good. Well, you can probably see the logo better like that. You can see it. I kind of put a, a cross hatch. I'll I'll take a close up of it. And you'd see it a lot better on it because I didn't want to um. I didn't want to cut the whole thing recess the whole thing because it just took too long so many passes here's a three-quarter inch end mill and it's not just a little bit of play that's about the way I wanted it I didn't want it like super tight on three quarters of an inch probably got like maybe five thousandths clearance maybe if, if not even that I'll see if I can take a little bit closer up photos in here of this. Try to kind of deburr the hole here a little bit on both sides, the back side. The back side's got a pretty good burn. Let me get the let me get the phone. Take some close-ups of this so you can see it better. But except for maybe cleaning this up and cutting the end off this horn because it didn't clean up from the forging right here. That's pretty much all the machine work done on this thing now. <laughs> 